Steam Deck is probably my most favorite piece of tech for this year, but it's got one thing missing from it, and that's an OLED panel. If the Switch can have one, I don't understand how this can't have one. But I have something that has helped me kind of forget the fact that this doesn't have an OLED panel. And that's a plugin called Vibrant Deck. Now, Vibrant Deck is a plugin from an extension manager called Decky Loader. And that's basically just a plugin store that allows you to customize a bunch of other things, like the theme of the UI, having Proton DB badging on the game so you know if they work or not. I also have a plugin that rounded out the corners on the boxes throughout the UI to give it more of a modern look. But obviously the most important one is going to be Vibrant Deck. And this is what made me forget that I want an OLED panel on my Steam Deck. Because not only does an OLED panel give you inky blacks or really bright whites, but it also gives you more vibrant colors. By using this plugin, I can increase the saturation to however much I want, and in my opinion, the games look so much better. Here's an example of Spider-Man. You can clearly see the colors are just much more pleasing and it just makes the entire experience of playing this game even better. So let's go over how to install this. First while in game mode, go over to settings by pressing the Steam button. Then head to system settings and enable developer mode. On the left side menu, all the way at the bottom, you'll see the developer menu. In there, we just wanna go and find CEF remote debugging and enable it. You're gonna have to restart your system, so do that. And when you're back, we wanna go to desktop mode. Now, I do suggest having some sort of keyboard and mouse, be it USB, Bluetooth, or whatever. I mean, you could do it by just using the on-screen controls and the trackpads. It's gonna be a bit of a hassle, but it's totally doable. This next part's optional, but it's highly recommended, and that's changing the admin password because it's the same for everyone. So I'm basically forcing you to do this. Go to the application menu on the bottom left and search for console with a K. This is a terminal window, and it's what we're gonna be using for the next little bit. Now, simply just type P-A-S-S-W-D, or pass W-D, in the command field and hit enter. You'll be prompted to make a new password. When you're typing, it's not gonna show you for security reasons. That's fine, trust me, you are typing. Once you have it all typed out, then just hit enter. It's gonna have you type it in again to verify. Once you got that done, open your browser of choice, search Decky Loader, and you'll see a GitHub link. Go in there and scroll all the way down to the installation section. Step 10 shows the command that we need to copy and paste into console. Choose the stable release one, if you want to experiment with stuff, then you can go with the pre-release. Now go back to console, paste the command, and hit enter. This is going to install the plugin, just let it do its thing. If you ever want to uninstall it, you can paste the same command again, but at the end, instead of it saying install, just change it to uninstall and it will get rid of it. Once you're done installing, it's time to head back to game mode. Open the quick settings menu by pressing the three ellipses button, and you'll see a new icon. It kind of looks like a little plug on the bottom. When you're in that section on the top right, you're gonna see a store icon. And now you can pretty much go crazy and do whatever you pretty much want. In there, you're gonna find Vibrant Deck, just install it. You'll see it come up in that same section and you can adjust all of the values. There isn't a whole lot in there right now, but more and more things are being added. And it's actually really nice to see that. I hope this was helpful. Let me know your thoughts, what you install, what I should try on my own Steam Deck. If you haven't already, check out my previous video about my top 10 tips for your Steam Deck. And with that, I'll catch you guys next one.